Hey YouTube, I keep making videos on Hermit Crab Care, but I keep changing it around and I finally found a suitable way I think they should live and I think it looks really nice. First of all, I have the substrate which is deep. You have to take a note, this right here, it's completely full down to there so it's about 3 inches, maybe 4 inches in certain spots. Certain spots are definitely deeper. Um, than others. Some spots are a lot shallower, some aren't. But I use, um, uh, what is it? The sh not shredded coconut. It's like this, maybe it is, I don't know. But it's like this nice shredded substrate. And it's really nice. And it was $9 and it fill filled up this whole entire um, 30, 25 gallon. I'm pretty sure this is 25 gallons. Maybe it's only 20 gallons. I do not know. But it filled it all the way up, so I'm actually happy about that. I only use this because I find it's a lot easier just to fill this all the way up instead of doing sand and everything. So, as you can see, it's really nice and moist in there. Uh, for my lighting, I have this. So, just regular lamp, 60 watt bulb. Half of it is covered to keep the humidity, and half is just for the heat and to get fresh air in there. I have some cork bark in, in certain places right behind that plant hiding coconut for certain crabs that might be a little bit bigger some little arrangements for them to climb on a little hollowed out log which three of my hermit crabs are in there looks like coconut um vivian and i don't know if you can kind of see that one shot right there but um that is my um shelly and their water dish, I use this. It's actually like um for um, amphibians, for them to get some good water or frogs. And it's got little stepping stones to get out of there. And I put their sponge, and that's just salt water. I like only salt water in here because it's easier to take care of and everything. And it's really good for them. I have plenty of extra shells over there. Um, some fake plants, things for them to climb on. A climbing background. Right now it is, let's see if I can get this to focus, it is 80 degrees in there, and it's 80% humidity over there, so that works again. Half and half, I like half of it to be nice and really warm, half of it to be, you know, kind of warmish. It's not exactly warm, so like this is like the barrier where it's nice and warm and where it's not. Um, the food I'm feeding them is Variety Bites. Also, I find that they really like, this is not their core diet, I do give them vegetables, but, um, hermit crab vacation food, I do clean this out, this is like their treat, really, um, don't be, you know, discouraged, but all I do is I get one of those, I peel them out, and then I break it up, as you can see, they're like chunks, and I feed them one, and that, I usually give them one of those a month. And they really like those, but I do clean it out after the day. And I have some variety bites and these little pebble foods. Um, let's see. I have five hermit crabs. I have, uh, let's see here, a three in here, which is Veronica, Shelly, and Coconut. I have the one, I, I would say if you look right in the middle screen, right before that big shell, you see the big shell on the bottom. One right on top of it is my little, um, that is, oh my god, I forgot his name. Oh, Tonka. And then I have one right back here, and that is Strawberry. He's my big boy. Um, and that's about it for that. If you have any questions, comments, um, how to keep up humidity and everything, just leave me a comment and I will make a quick video. Thank you.